good one. Oh. I've made something for you, Will. Wow. Oh, thanks, Holly. You can keep your favourite marbles in it. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm fine. And this one can be the first one in. Great. Big Bear, I'll see you and Rosie at the showground later. OK. Bye. This gives me an idea. I'm going to have a go at making something with clay, too. Is my putter's wheel still in your shirt? Hmm. Found it at last. <gasps> Here we go. Hey, why isn't the wheel going round? Oh, the batteries must have run out. Oh. Not to worry. I've got an idea. Good luck. I'm off to play with Holly and Rosie at the showground. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I'm just charging these batteries up off the solar panels on the roof. Oh, I can't wait to use the potter's wheel. Ooh. Oh, uh, that might take a little while. The sun's just gone behind a cloud. Yes. to play basketball. I thought we were going to play tennis. Oh, well, uh, why don't you try basketball? <laughs> oh, I think I'm a bit small for basketball. Why don't we try tennis? Um, okay. I don't think I can really play tennis without a racket. Well, I'm off to the showground to play with Holly and Big Bear. Could you ask Big Bear for some bosberries for our snack this evening? Will do. Never fear. I've had another idea. Hi. Ready for ice skating? Ice, ice skating? skating? Yes. I thought we agreed, didn't we? <laughs> I thought we were going to play tennis. And I thought we were going to play basketball. Oh, dear. We all thought we were going to do something different. Maybe we could still skate. Um, I don't have my skates here, but I'll give it a go. Oh. 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 Uh, don't worry, I'm all right. Here, let me help. But what can we all play together? I present to you Will's Potter's Wheel Mark II. So how does it work? I took the clockwork bits out of this old robot. I haven't used it in years because its leg kept falling off. <laughs> like that. <laughs> anyway, I connected it to the wheel and I just need to wind it up. A bit more. 
Just a bit more. Whoa! Look out! Sorry, Bluebird. I'm never going to get this working. But I won't let it beat me. I've got another idea. So we can't play tennis together. Or basketball. Or ice skate. So what are we going to do then? I'm so hot. Me too. Then let's set up the showground as a pool so we can all cool down. Yes. Good idea. I present to you Will's Potter's Wheel Mark Three. It doesn't need batteries or clockwork. Very impressive, Will. So, how does it work? Well, a pedal like this, and the potter's wheel spins round like this. Uh, is anything going to fly off and hit me? Oh, definitely not. Oh, I'm going to have to pedal quite fast, though. Even faster. Yeah, oh, I'm getting hot. Okay, uh, the clay, please, Raggles. <sighs> Sorry, Bluebird. No, I'm all out of ideas. So you won't be trying again? No. Yippee! I mean, I'm sorry, Will. <sighs> oh, maybe. Oh, no. Whew, it's nice to cool off. But what shall we do next? I don't know. Ha! I'll get it. Whoops! <laughs> Go! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that gives me an idea for a game we could all play together. Here, you have the racket this time. <laughs> oh, this game is all muddled up, but it's nice and cool and great fun. I know. What should we call it? What about <laughs> Holly Ball? <laughs> yes, Holly Ball. <laughs> Here. I present to you Will's Potter's Wheel, Mark Four. It doesn't need batteries or clockwork or someone to get hot pedaling it fast. So, how does it work this time? By water power. Uh, I'm not taking any chances. I know. And if it hadn't broken, I'd have never come up with this even better idea. And if we hadn't had our mix-up, we'd never have invented Hollyball. And I wouldn't be the champion. Well, the champion definitely deserves a trophy. Here. Thank you. Hooray! So today's mistakes actually make things better. I know. Oh, I forgot to ask Big Bear for the Bosberries for our evening snack. Don't worry. We've got some strawberries inside. Ooh, and some biscuits. Maybe they would go together nicely. With cream? Oh, what would that taste like all mixed up? Mmm. <laughs> I think we've invented a new recipe by mistake. Let's go and find out. Yeah. Can you hear 
hear that, Raggles? Music. Raggles? <gasps> Raggles, it's you. Oh, what a beautiful tune. Thank you, Rosie. I made it up myself. <sighs> I am impressed. Oh, and what a lovely day. It's a day for play, all right. Come on, Rosie. Whee! <laughs> I've got to get changed first, silly. <laughs> OK, everyone, what shall we play? Oh. What's up with them? I'll tell you what's up. Oakley's what's up. Oakley? He's been so grumpy. He said I sounded like a crow when I tried to join the dawn chorus. And he won't give me my ball back. It's stuck in his branches. When I read him my special Oakley poem, he just yawned. And when I asked him if I could scratch my back on his bark, he told me to rub someone else up the wrong way. He can be a bit grumpy sometimes. <laughs> this isn't a bit grumpy. This is a lot grumpy. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I think we'd better go and see what's up, Raggles. Rosie, can you hear something? Uh-oh. Raggles! <laughs> How come they always bounce on me? Because you're so bounceable. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's go to Oakley. And don't get into any mischief, acorns. <sighs> Go on then. Um. Hello, Oakley. Hello, Rosie. Hi, Raggles. There've, um, been some complaints. Not those acorns again. No, not the acorns. It's, um... You! Oh. Everyone says you've been very grumpy. But I can't help it. Those little acorns were making a racket all night long. I didn't get a wink of sleep. I'm tired. <sighs> That's all. I know just what you mean. When Rosie gets tired, she's so grumpy too. What? Look, Oakley, as it's quiet, why don't you have a nap now? And we'll go and find those acorns and see if we can get them to be quieter. All right, then. They think we're playing a game, Rosie. Ah! Wicky, wicky, Oakley. <laughs> no need to apologise. What's done is done. Still friends? <sighs> friends. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get some sleep. Sleep? But I want to play. I want to sleep. I see. You'd sooner sleep than be friends with me, huh? Hm. Well, I know when I'm not wanted. Goodbye, Oakley. Forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I just want to talk. OK, Acorns. Stop right there. I said stop. <laughs> They did it again! They bounced on me! <laughs> Who's that? It's me. Please, can I have my ball back? Please? But I'm trying to sleep. And I'm trying to play football. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Here you go, Will. Oh, I just... Want some sleep? Oh. Not on my hammer! Stop it! Please come here! <laughs> <laughs> there you are! Hey! Stop that! Come here! Hee <laughs> hee! 
it's not a game. I need to talk to you. Now what are they up to? Coming, Raggles. Raggles! Do you want to go ready? No, I do not. Thanks, Rosie. Now, I've got something to ask you. It's about Oakley. <laughs> no! No, wait! <laughs> Stop! Come back! Oh, we'll never catch them like this. How can we get those cheeky acorns to be quiet? Look at them. They really need calming down. Oh, please stop, Big Bear. I need to sleep. Singing. It's nice to see you smile again, Oakley. And we've had our little chat, eh, Acorns? Yes, yes Rosie. Rosie. Hey, my ball. Oh, thanks, Oakley. Don't oh, oh, ever scratch on me, Big Bear. <laughs> oh, thanks. Hello, Holly. Can I listen to your poem again? Yes. Oakey, Oakley, you're Oakey to your core. A wise and ancient Oakey tree who no one could love more. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think I know how to get those acorns to keep quiet now. Sing them a lullaby. I think I'll have a nap too. <sighs> What do you mean I'm grumpy when I'm tired? I most definitely am not grumpy. I was just trying to make Oakley feel better. Oh, <laughs> that's okay then. Hey, would you like to hear my poem? It's all about you. Yes, I'd love to hear it. <clears throat> when I see my rosy smile <laughs> in my throat, I get a lump. Oh, how sweet. But that really doesn't happen much. She's usually in a grump. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Raggles. <laughs> I am not grumpy. <laughs> hmm, it feels so good to get rid of all these things we don't want. Rosie! What is it, Raggles? Is there something you want to keep? Rosie! Ah! Rosie, Raggles, are you all right? Yes, we're fine, aren't we, Raggles? 
Phew. That's very pretty. You can have it. We're throwing these things away. We don't want them anymore. Well, thank you. It does seem a waste to get rid of things when they might be useful. Useful? It's just rubbish! Ah, but one person's rubbish may be someone else's treasure. Hmm, you're right. Thanks, Safi. Rosie! <laughs> Hello, Will. Ooh, making a go-kart. Go-kart? Does this look like a go-kart, Big Bear? Oh. We're going to keep all our clutter at the playhouse so everyone can choose the things they like. <laughs> <laughs> clutter, you say? Ooh, I've got so much clutter. Follow me, little acorns. <laughs> oh, a spot of recycling. Good idea, Rosie. Buttons, bottle tops. The bag's nearly full, little acorns. Nearly full? So where do I put the rest of my clutter? Hmm. Maybe we should find a way to collect everyone's clutter, Raggles. Another great idea. Thank you, Oakley. Oh, shells, beads, sequins. Oh, there must be hundreds. Do you really need them all, Holly? Well, uh, <laughs> they do take up a lot of space. Oops! <laughs> all right, I'll get some things ready for the clutter collection. But who do you think might want them, Bluebird? Oh, I'm sure there's someone out there who could find a use for them. I'll have a look, Bluebird. I suppose I might have the odd bit of clutter that I could get rid of. Oh, not as much as Will. Look! They're not clutter. They're parts. I need them for my plan. <laughs> what plan? <laughs> What are you going to leave out for the clutter collection, Oakley? Oh, I'd love to help, Bluebird, but we trees don't have anything to get rid of. Yes, you do. Your leaves fall off every winter. Whee! 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 Bouncy, bouncy! <laughs> <laughs> True, but leaves rot on the ground and make food for other plants. Nothing is wasted. I wish we could be more like that, Raggles. Yes, but it's different for trees. All we need is sunlight, water, and a gentle breeze. Hmm. What we need is a clutter cart. It's time for the collection. No problem, Rosie. I'll get Will to help. Oh, but you like making things. Sorry, Raggles, I'm busy. And a clutter cart sounds boring. Hmm. What about a turbo boosted supersonic waste blaster? Oh, I love your clutter cart, Will. It's a turbo boosted, um, supersonic. Uh, <laughs> whatever it's called, it's brilliant! Don't forget to pick up Big Bear's clutter. Hmm, I might just hang on to this wood. I'm sure I'll need it one day. Uh, come on, Big Bear. If 
I can get rid of my clutter, so can you. Hmm. I suppose my den will look better without it. <laughs> hmm. But the cart doesn't. Let's take everything back to the playhouse. Phew! Made it! I knew I had another piece of clutter. My old feathers. <gasps> no! Look! Oh dear. Now your cart's a pile of clutter too. Sorry, Will. <sighs> Come on. Let's find a good place to store these things. That is a lot of clutter. Never mind. One person's rubbish is someone else's treasure. Everyone can choose what they like. <gasps> Come to Bluebird. La 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 la. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Robot. Hold these, Big Bear. <laughs> My turn. I want to play to. Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, Robot. It wasn't me. It was the clutter. It tripped me up. We've still got so much left over. Oh, we'll have to throw some things away after all. But that'd be a shame. Let's make some more special things. But everyone's got the things they want, Holly. Not everyone. What about Oakley? <laughs> Oakley's a tree. Trees don't need anything. Except sun, water and a gentle breeze. I've got a great idea. Goodness me! What's this? Hi, Oakley. We've got something. A very special something. To show you. Ready? I, uh, <laughs> not really. Uh, but, oh, go on. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen... Anything like it. Um, what is it? It's a wind sculpture, Oakley. Or a turbo boosted supersonic breeze blaster. The wheels were mine. It's just like you, Oakley. All it needs is sun, water, and wind. We didn't waste a thing. See? Just like you. Well, thank you. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I'll treasure it. Safi said one person's rubbish is someone else's treasure. We'll take it to show her too. Oh, yes, you must. Uh, but not just yet. <laughs> oh, I could watch it for hours. <laughs> There's so much space without all that clutter. Sorry, Raggles. No room for you in here. What? What? Good night, Raggles. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Rosie. <laughs> this is fun, Big Bear. Oh, yes. I'm hoping this will be our best harvest yet. I love harvest time, especially the big party afterwards. Mmm, harvest time is tasty too. 
plenty of time for that later, Raggles. We've still got lots more to pick. Oh. Yes, come on, everyone. Keep up the good work. Bluebird, shouldn't you be helping with the harvest today? Help? Me? Oh, yes, of course. They'll never manage without me. See you later, Oki. You missed one. Oh, and another. Well done, everyone. We finished the harvest. Hooray! <gasps> oh no! Look at these. Oh, some of my fruit and vegetables have been damaged by the frost. <gasps> what are we going to do with them all? Oh, what a waste! Don't worry, Big Bear. Maybe some of them are okay. Hmm. Not all of them are ruined. There is some good fruit and vegetables amongst this lot. Somewhere. Mmm. These plums taste good. Hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Mordy the Dormice. What are they doing? have given me a great idea. Well? Uh, I don't get it. We're going to make sofas? <laughs> no, not quite. But if the Mordies can think of other uses for the fruit and vegetables, then I'm sure we can think of ways to use them too. But they're so squishy. Yes. But maybe that's not such a bad thing. Hey? Come on, Big Bear. Help me carry lots of the squished fruit to the playhouse and I'll show you. <sighs> OK, Rosie. Try to use as much of the fruit and vegetables as you can. I'm sure we can make this harvest a success. Ready, Rosie? Great! Let's go! <laughs> I know what I can do with these. What are you going to do with all those, Will? You'll see. Oh, well. Looks like I'll have to be chief taster all on my own. <laughs> Yum. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, now they're even more... Squashed. Ah, but squashed fruit makes delicious juice. Here, have a taste. Mmm, this is the best juice ever. <laughs> well done, <laughs> Rosie. See, all that fruit wasn't wasted after all. We just needed to use it in a different way. La 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 Oh, I've seen potato prints before loads of times. Not like this. What are you doing? <laughs> You'll see. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> it'll soon be time for our harvest party, Big Bear. Yes. What's wrong? Aren't you excited? Well, I think it's great that you managed to use some of the fruit, Rosie, but I still feel bad about the rest of it. Oh, I hate waste. Uh, uh, oh, I rolled the pastry out just like you asked, Holly, but... Oh, 
I think I'm ready for you to do your stuff now. <laughs> Coming! Hold it tighter, Holly. Left a bit, right a bit. <gasps> well, my house and garden look great, Holly. How did you do it? With your potatoes, of course. Potatoes? <laughs> Welcome to your special harvest party, Big Bear. But what about the rest of the vegetables? Where have they all gone? They're here! In this big pie. Really? Yep. Holly helped me make it. See, Big Bear? The fruit and vegetables didn't look perfect, but they were still good enough to eat. Go on, have a taste. Well? Oh, yummy! It's the best vegetable pie I've ever tasted. <laughs> Let the party begin! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> but where's Raggles? We can't have a harvest party without him. Don't worry, Rosie. We'll find him. Look, a plum stone. Hmm. Raggles was eating plums earlier. Wow! An apple core. I found a half-eaten carrot, too. They must be clues. Quick, let's follow them. <laughs> Sorry about the mess, Big Bear. That's okay, Raggles. You've reminded me that rubbish can be useful too. Rubbish? How? Easy. If I save these seeds, pips and stones and plant them, we'll have an even bigger harvest next year. Wow, that's clever. The rest of the waste will turn into new soil called compost to feed the new plants. So nothing is wasted from this harvest after all, Big Bear? Not a thing. And now the next harvest will be even better. Hooray! Time to celebrate. All we need is some music. <laughs> Whoops, that's not my whistle. What are you doing in there, Red? Whoa. <laughs> it works! This is the best harvest party ever! Thanks, Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> So we didn't waste anything, Oakley. Raggles even played a carrot whistle, didn't you, Raggles? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fun, Rosie. <gasps> Raggles, you can't be hungry. Aren't you full? Almost done. Close your eyes. Ooh. Ta da! <gasps> a necklace made from melon seeds. Oh, Raggles, I love it. Thank you. Surely you're not going to eat that, too? <laughs> Don't be silly, Rosie. This one's special. I've been saving it. What for, Raggles? It'll make a great bongo drum. <laughs> <laughs> says that if you hoot like an owl, 
a real owl will hoot back. Really? Have you heard one yet? Mm, not yet. I'd better do some more hooting. <laughs> I told you I could hear a funny noise, Will. These beetles must be freezing out here in the cold. Not as cold as I am, Holly. Whew. Would you like me to find a little box for you to sleep in? Holly, they're wild animals. They're used to the outdoors. I know, Will, but it is cold, and it's only for one night. <gasps> Did you hear that, Holly? Hear what? It sounded like an owl. <laughs> there it is again. Maybe I can get it to come closer. <laughs> <gasps> there is an owl out there. <laughs> Here you are, little beetles. I've made you a bed. Now you'll be cozy and warm. I don't see why the beetles need to sleep in a box, Holly. Shush now, beetles. It's bedtime. Night night. <laughs> Will, are you in there? It's really late. <sighs> oh, what time is it? I think it might be nearly lunchtime. Lunchtime? But I've got stuff to do. Oh, dear. <gasps> and you were really noisy last night, little beetles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Oakley. Oakley? Oh, oh, good morning, Rosie. Sorry I'm late. I think I overslept. So did I, and Raggles and Oakley. I wonder if anyone else forgot to wake up. My very own owl caller. Now, I need somewhere to hide so I can find my owl friend. <sighs> Big Bear's still sleeping too. Maybe a fairy has put a magic sleeping spell on all of us. Wakey, wakey. Oh, oh. Oh, hello, Rosie. Oh, have I slept in? We all did, and we don't know why. <laughs> well, I normally get woken up early by the Maudies tapping on my window like... <coughs> Sorry we're late, Big Bear. I'm afraid we slept, slept a, a bit, bit too long. long. I didn't hear Bluebird singing the dawn chorus. She normally wakes us up, you see. <laughs> He's talking to me. Hello, Elmy. <laughs> It's not my fault I didn't wake up early. Manny always wakes me up. And Teal normally wakes me. Oh, oh yes. I usually wake up when the darties come past first thing, but it looks as though <laughs> they slept in too. 
We did, Teal, we did. We're normally woken up by those little purple beetles chirping away as soon as it gets light, but... Purple beetles? What's the matter, Holly? It was so cold last night, so I made them a little bed out of this box. But then they wouldn't go to sleep. And now they haven't woken up. But even if they had, the darters wouldn't have heard them from behind the banana tree. So that's why no one woke up on time. Oh, Rosie, it's my fault. I've broken the dawn chorus. It's okay, Holly. We can fix it. We just need to put the purple beetles where everyone can hear them. <laughs> I think we may need some help, Holly. Ooh. Oh, the owl's still not coming any closer. Maybe I can creep towards it without being seen. Come closer to me. I'll get closer to him. Ooh. I'm really close. Don't want to scare him. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Mustn't scare him away. Let me think. Hmm. Ah, straw. That's what they need. There. One beetle house. They like it. Well done, everyone. Did you find your owl, Raggles? There isn't any owl. It was Will. We've been hooting at each other since last night. I thought Raggles was a real owl, and he thought I was. I might as well throw this stupid owl caller away. Um, Rosie, Holly, we've got a problem. Listen. Uh, I can't hear anything. Exactly. The straw is muffling the sound of the beetles. <laughs> oh, the Darties will never hear that. Oh, Rosie, does this mean we'll all sleep in again tomorrow? Hmm. <gasps> well, how does your owl caller work? Well, you make a sound this end and it comes out through here, only bigger. I think it's going to be very useful after all. Just a minute, Raggles. 
Bluebird! No, quick! Fraggles, what are you doing? Have you seen my penny whistle? It's gone! Gone where? That's what I'm asking you! <gasps> Fraggles, are you okay? I think so. <laughs> Raggles. <laughs> A rabbit loses his penny whistle. What's funny about that? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm going to play with Holly. But Raggles. Oh. Whoosh! The rocket fires all four gamma blasters. Meow. Here comes Jupiter. Watch out! Shouting! Why? Because I said so, and it's against the rules to swing that high. Hey, whose rules? My rules. <sighs> okay, is this better? <sighs> Perfect. <sighs> Who rattled her nest this morning? Oh, hello there, Raggles. Hello, Holly. Where's Rosie? Don't know. I know. I'll play my recorder and you play your penny whistle. Like a duet. Can't. I've lost it. You can try my recorder if you like. Oh, thanks. Do you feel a bit better now? No. Because I was really cross with Rosie. And now I'm really cross with me. I shouted at Rosie. Oh, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, when I have a problem, Raggles, I like to talk to Oakley. Hi, Will. <laughs> Why are you doing little baby swings? Bluebird says I'm not allowed to do proper swinging. She's in a real mood. Which way did she go? Over there. But I'd stay out of her way if I were you. She's so bossy today. We're going to find out why. Come on, Will. Hello, my dear. And Raggles. Rosie not with you today. Um, no. That's why we came. You see, Raggles has a bit of a problem. Oakley, oh, will you please stop rustling your branches? Creak, creak, creak all day long. Uh, I'm sorry, I... Oh, just keep still. Oh, it shouldn't be hard. You are a tree after all. Yes, uh, very well. Good. Well, what a bossy bird. Yes. Anyway, about Raggles, he had a little bicker with Rosie. What a big bicker, actually. And now he wants to put things right. What should he do? I think you should say sorry. But what if she's still upset with me? I'd give her a special gift. My most luscious leaf from high up in my branches. Or you could play her a tune on my recorder. Oh, that is genius. Come on, Holly. Thanks for the help, Oakley. Help! Goodness me! What if we all walked around all day making loud twig noises? What then, eh? Eh? I, uh, I don't know. It'd be a racket, that's what. No treading on twigs! Sorry. Too loud. Sorry. Shh. Sorry. I think I had Bluebird over this way. Uh, hi, Rosie. Fancy meeting you here. Hi, Holly. Have you seen Bluebird? Not for a while. But, oh, I've just remembered. 
Raggles has something he wants to share with you. Hi, Raggles. Hi, Rosie. Um, this is something I want you to hear. <coughs> no recorders allowed. Too noisy. Hm. Put it away immediately. But, Bluebird? Bluebird, come back. Great. Everything's ruined now. Why is that, Raggles? I was going to play you a tune to say sorry for this morning. Aw, oh, apology accepted. Really? Of course. We'll always be friends, Raggles. Now, come on, let's find out what's wrong with Bluebird. <gasps> it's coming from the Playhouse. Why have you been bossing everyone around, Bluebird? Oh, it's the noise! There's their little acorns bouncing, bouncy, 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 and Will swinging, and Oakley creaking, and Big Bear stamping, and Rebels playing his recorder, <laughs> and his penny whistle. Arrgh. His penny whistle? Yes. But why did you take it? And why have you been telling everyone what to do? Because today is the day I must la 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 sing my chorus. But it's just not quiet enough for me to do it. I think we can sort this out without being bossy. But you must give Raggles his penny whistle back first. Sorry I took your whistle, Raggles. Okay, Bluebird. Good. Let's all meet at Oakley's Hill in ten minutes. Don't be late. Okay, everyone. We have to be quiet for one whole minute. Let's practice. Shh. <laughs> it's so hard not to rustle. <laughs> What do we have to be silent for? Not what, Oakley? Who? Here she is. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> now, I shall sing my chorus. Me, 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 me. Does this noise go on? <laughs> Dear me, have you got any of those in my size? <coughs> now, Raggles and I would like to play a tune for our friend Rosie. Oh no! Come on, everyone! Rosie, I won't fall out with you ever again, and I won't fall out with you. Oh, I need quiet. <laughs> You'll need to run faster than that to get away. <laughs> but Big Bear isn't running. He's walking. <laughs> That's running. Slow running, but it's fast walking. Slow running, fast walking. Uh, Rosie? <laughs> 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 Rosie! Raggles! Wow! What? What's that noise? 
<laughs> I've been practicing this for ages. And at last, it's perfect. You won't believe your eyes. Ready? Wow! That was amazing, Bluebird. Oh, what was that? My double reverse loop the loop, of course. Holly would love to see that. And Big Bear. And you should put on a show. <gasps> You're right. The most fabulous flying display ever. We could help. <laughs> That's it. We'll be um, the flying featherettes. Oh, how exciting. I've always oh, wanted... We have to practice. No time to waste. <laughs> I need you two to make a big stage for my fabulous flying display. How big? Big. I'm a big, big star. I need a big, big, big stage. To the air, featherettes. What do you think? <clears throat> yes, well done, everyone. Um, it's a really good start. It was terrible. Wow! I don't have to listen to this. But it could be great if you walk together. <laughs> This'll do. We'll have a stage in no time. Hmm, they're a bit tatty. A few nails, bit of glue, they'll be fine. Bluebird wants it to be special, Will. We'll have to find the very best wood and do this properly. <gasps> that means slowly. Ah! It'll be so pretty if we put little flags around the edge. Great idea. We've got some in the playhouse. I'll bring the balloons. We can't have a show without balloons. You need to stay in the background a bit more. Remember, people will be coming to see me. <laughs> Bluebird. And me. And me. We're important too. That's right. You've got the most important job of all. Making me look good. <laughs> <laughs> How about that for a skid? <laughs> I thought we were working together, Will. <laughs> You're so slow, I can work and play at the same time. Here you go. We've got enough wood, thanks, Will. No worries. <laughs> now, all we've got to do is set up our stall. Stall? What stall? Popcorn and lollies. You can't have a show without popcorn and fruit lollies. <laughs> of course we can't. Let's go and get them. Ready, Featherettes? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Excuse me, I have to be centre stage. So you keep saying. Huh. Well, what did you think? I'm not saying. You got in a huff last time. Oh, I know what you think. Oh, Raggles, can you please help me get the featherettes into shape? You want me to help? Okay. We'll do things the Raggles way. Sorry, little acorns. It's a flying display for birds. And you're not birds. You're... <laughs> <laughs> OK, Featherettes. First rule. If I could just say... Shh. The first rule is you must listen. We haven't got long until it's showtime. Aww. And the second rule? You all have to do the same thing at the same time. The same? But I'm Bluebird, the star. Like this. 
Let's go, Featherettes. <laughs> hmm. Just needs a big dob of glue and it's finished. At last. Dum, 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 dum. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, it's not finished yet. Little Flutter, this way, please. <laughs> no, this way. That's right. Flitter Flutter. Hey! <laughs> Hi, Bluebird. Your bird table's ready. I think you mean my stage. All eyes will be on me. Bluebird. <sighs> I mean, on us featherettes. Quick, it's time for the show. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. Ooh. <laughs> Good luck, team. Go featherettes. Go featherettes. You won't try to slow me down this time, will you? What? I never slowed you down. You did? You couldn't keep up. <laughs> well, at least I don't waggle my tail feathers to get everyone's attention. Oh, well, that's it. I'm walking out. I'm walking out first. Psst, you're on. No, Raggles. <gasps> I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> the performance is cancelled. The featherettes are finished. <gasps> no. What? Why? What's happened? It's no good, Rosie. They all want to be the star. But I am the star. Hmm. You can all be stars for some of the time, but you'll have to take it in turns. Can you do that? We'd like to say a big hello and welcome you to our flying show. We go up, we go down, we go in between. We are the best you've ever seen. We are the flying featherettes. We swoop and twirl and pirouette. A faster than a rocket or a jumbo jet. We are the flying featherettes. Extra glue. Three. Wow. We work together in the end. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> this is the end. It's time to go. We hope that you enjoyed the show. And this the letter you won't forget. We're the fabulous, fearless. Flutter, flutter, <laughs> whatever next. <laughs> Swoop and twirl and pirouette, faster than a rocket or a jumbo jet. I'm a star, don't you think, Rosie? Um, do you want the truth, Raggles? Do you want this banana and honey sandwich, Rosie? <laughs> You're a star, Raggles. <laughs> so are you, Rosie. Sometimes <laughs> we take it in turns. 